into the throwing here. Now, this is where I like to use the analogy of boxing. When I say the power chest or the triple L, that's, that's all fancy stuff that uh, I came up with. But basically, think about it this way. If I had one of these kids come up here and I had a punching bag, and I said, hit that punching bag as hard as you can, and the kid would go, boom. So come on, hit it hard. Boom. Hit it harder. Come on. Boom. Hit it as hard as you can. The kid would naturally get into this position right here. He wouldn't even think about it. His body would know, I need to get in this position here if I want to hit this thing as hard as I can. That position right here is the same thing every player will get into when he throws a ball. There it is. Okay? That's the position that a kid's going to get into just like he's going to throw a punch. Okay? But instead of having his fist closed in a punch, he's got a ball. Just like that. That's the position that he wants to be in. The triple L position is right here. I have an L from my body to my arm. That's one L. Another L is here. And another L is here. So three L's and I'm in a good position to throw the ball. And he's in that position there. An L here. Uh, an L from his shoulder to his elbow in here, and then the third L goes here, okay? That's going to set him up for a better throw, just like we're going to throw a punch, pretty much creating some L's back here and get the full force of the throw there. Chest level. Again, if I said tell the kid to hit as hard as he can, he would naturally put his hand right here. He wouldn't put his hand up here. He wouldn't put his hand down here. He'd put it right about chest level so that he can punch that punching bag same thing with throwing. At some point, even if I come all the way down here, I got to get to that chest level before I come forward to throw. That's where your power comes from, right here at chest level. Open with the elbow up. Okay, I talked about that. Opening. Now I'm turning my shoulders. I'm opening up. My shoulders and my hips are starting to open up and fire. My glove is tucked. I just don't want the glove to be down in this area here. I want it to be tucked right next near my body there. And elbow at above a shoulder, that's another thing to star because that's something easy to see. Every time I throw a baseball, my elbow needs to be either at my shoulder level or higher. If my elbow drops, you've got an arm injury waiting to happen. There's a lot of little leaguers that can get away with this because the fields are small. They don't have to really throw the ball far. But once they start moving into the bigger fields, this is the biggest thing that prevents kids from moving on to the next level. This will not generate enough power and it actually puts more stress on their arm. Uh, head, eyes, glove, basically just keep a quiet head. In the throwing catching process, your eyes and head are built to move or to, uh, to do things while they're pretty much still. If I tilt my head, I'm going to be off balance. So when I catch and throw, my head should be still and my eyes level throughout the process. But you will see little kids come up and they will turn their head like that. Or they will tilt and be here. So keeping that head up, eyes level uh, and so forth. Quiet eyes, quiet head as I call it. And finishing when they throw with their glove on their hip when they throw. Just for safety. They can get that glove up there if they need it and so forth. After they let go of the ball, and this is another big one to try to get more velocity, is they should have a full reversal of their shoulders. So if I'm going towards the target and my front shoulder is facing my target, when I'm done my throw, my back shoulder should be facing the target. I should have a full 180 degree turn, but a lot of kids don't. They catch and they do a 90 degree turn. They do that. So I'm not getting the full momentum out of my body when I throw. So reverse those shoulders and after the kid lets go of the ball, they should continue in a straight line towards their target. That is going to help with some velocity. Okay, so uh, when you're watching guys on TV, when you look at photographs, you'll see a lot of this stuff. They just naturally do it at that level. All right, folks, well, that's going to do it for this session. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, my email's there. My website is up and running. A lot of tutorials and videos and all kinds of stuff for little kids and coaches. So enjoy your evening. Thank you very much for coming. And I'll be around for a minute or so before I move on to my next one. <laughs>